grand rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a collective timeless reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. Lovely to see you. If you're an old one, welcome back. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. Thank you for your emails. Thank you for your donations. They are all appreciated. Please remember that there is still a scanner going through the comment section. They seem to have gone a little bit quiet at the moment. Um, asking you to WhatsApp them, I will never solicit you for readings. The only way to contact me for a reading is by looking in the description box of all of my videos or on my channel's um, summary and looking for the blue arrows that point upwards. There's my email. If you'd like a private reading, that's the way you contact me, okay? Now let's get straight into this. The song that I kept hearing was um, Hungry As. I get a feeling I can't describe, I got hungry eyes. And then I heard the words, someone is hungry for attention, okay? Somebody, and I heard, why won't you talk to me? Or why won't you? There's something here about wanting um, a connection. And you've got here success upside down, okay? Somebody is upset by how unsuccessful they've been at e either contacting you, this light one, another person you're thinking of, or that whatever they did failed, okay? And this person now just wants attention from you or the person you're thinking of. Because on the back it says here, today's a really good day. You are in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. Whatever, whoever this person is, they have been, because I heard ill will by the many okay and you've got breathe and they can't breathe this person's hype i heard hypertension all right whatever it is that they've did has now dropped on their lap okay and they're watching you another person a light one glowing up they're watching you be healthy they're watching you be happy they're watching you sail through towers okay and you've also got here self this person doesn't know who they are Okay, because you've got here, if beating yourself up worked, you'd be thin, rich and happy. Try loving yourself instead. All right, this person, they may have, because I'm hearing they disempowered an empath and you've got the home here. So this is home life. Okay, so you have a family member, someone you shared a home with, someone that you, you know, a roommate, something along those lines. Um, for some, it may be co-workers, but I'm not getting that as much. But there's someone here that disempowered you and I heard and I liked it because you've also got security, which is to do with your home again. And it says on the back here, true security comes from having a reserve of time, space, energy and personal power and love. Make deposits in all of these accounts and you will be a wealthy person indeed. And I heard this person burn out every last hope. Okay, so this person may have pushed away every attempt for someone to help heal them, whether that was you or another person you're thinking of. And I heard contacts, they've got they have no contacts left. You've also got reassess, and it says you have the right to change your mind. Okay, there may be for some reason I'm getting like um either extended family or like the the what's the word, the nuclear family, and there's someone here that may have been given like chance after chance after chance after chance and i heard narcissistic disorder or split personality or something along those lines and there is because especially with self upside down there may have been an occasion in the light one's life where they supported another family member or there was a family member that was very very narcissistic and you've got to remember when we're children a child will blame themselves for the abuse or trauma that's placed on them because they're little and they do not understand the world yet. They do not understand how to perceive healthy relationships. They just learn from what their caregivers or their siblings or whoever's around them shows them. Okay, so there's something here to do with childhood also. And whoever this person was constantly was distorting what a healthy relationship should be between either child and parent or sibling and sibling, between cousin and cousin, whatever the relationship is. This person may have been given many, many chances and there was a point in a light one's life when they went, this is enough. I deserve better, okay? I deserve to be able to succeed in loving myself, in having love given to me as well. And with that security upside down, this is also talking about how when we are children, if we are in an environment that we do not find safe, 
for whatever whatever reason we armor ourselves so we shut down we close down that empathic part of us or we close down that intuitive part of us because it's about survival and then and that's your masculine that's your your divine masculine energy that's when it goes into overdrive you then have your feminine divine which when it goes into overdrive when something happens where you cannot get out of that cage whether that is child abuse whether it's neglect whether it's just being completely ignored or treated like poop what we end up doing and in my experience and what i have seen as i'm learning on my own path of healing is that <clears throat> your feminine divine is also your storyteller and as a child <coughs> we make that story around us and go well it must be my fault i must have done something for them to act the way that they did this person sits in their childhood or they look back in their childhood and there's something here about wanting attention they want that weird dysfunctional dynamic that they had before with their sibling or with their child or with whoever it is that resonates for you and there was a point in this light one's life that went no i'm not being disempowered anymore I've seen the outside world. I've seen how other relationships are with my friends, with my peers, with you know my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my husband, and I can see that this is dysfunctional, and I don't want anything. I don't want anything to do with it, because you've got here optimism. If you're going to make up stories in your head about people and circumstances, please make them love stories with happy endings. There is some point here where this light one, instead of making the story and blaming themselves, actually said, "This is not my fault." I actually just wanted to give love, I wanted to help, I wanted to heal, but I've ended up with all of this trauma and this damage and these wounds from being so empathic, for opening up so much, and whoever it was just wanted to cage me or wanted to cage that heart or wanted to let me know that, you know, you seeing me and seeing my pain is a punishment and you're going to be punished. And you've also got body here and it says on the back, your body deserves love, okay? So there may have been name calling, there may have been eating disorders, that either that's coming from whoever it is that now wants his attention, or this may have been a result of, you know, that internal emotional damage that happened from being in that environment for so long for that light one. Okay, but you've also, I've just opened it and it's open straight to power, okay. And it says on the back that ability to suck it up is not a superpower, saying no is own your power someone did that someone walked away from someone who now just wants lots and lots of they want attention they want that pick me it's because they've seen how authentic you are okay what else would like to come out this one okay so let's see why did i get hungry eyes because you've got earth here earth here and home so this is looking at my taurus virgo and capricorn which is to do with your money and income it's to do with your health and fitness and your routines and it's also to do with your fame and your career but you've also got home life upside down so whoever this person is they're watching this glow up okay from afar and they're angry okay there's something about like a sulky vibe oh this card's not even supposed to be in here there you go so you've also got air signs gemini aquarius and libra there's something here about wanting to connect okay and that's why i heard before why can't i want to talk to you or why you blocked me you've also got aquarius which is um you know your how you look outside of the box creatively and it's also that rebellious energy and libra okay something about for some reason i'm getting this person feeling like it's not fair <coughs> constant compare um some, something about comparing themselves to you or the person you're thinking of and them feeling like it's not fair there's almost this energy of i want to connect with you not to apologize not to say it was my fault that i caused trauma towards you but more to say look at me woe is me i want that i want that dynamic that we had before where you let me just emotionally unburden onto you okay and you've also got mount shashta to our ancient future this person is learning that you are someone who is who has been here before that has had many, many lives, and it's a very, very old energy, and it says our ancient future and Mount Shashta, okay, so your ancient future, they've been blocked from their own Akashic records, but they may have tried to get into your Akashic records, okay, and you've got here unique gifts, there, there seems to be a lot of jealousy, even from childhood, that you either were a starseed, you were an indigo child, or you were just 
already a light one. You already were, you know, on that path for your purpose and they didn't like it. There's something here about seeing, seeing ghosts when you were a child or connecting with Faye when you were a child because you've got full spectrum and you've got new, new blueprints. There was something that was purposely done to block this from coming to be a lot sooner, okay? This person purposely blocked your own, um, what's the word, your own sovereign light, your own sovereign power, because they didn't want to see you succeed, which comes back to that kind of um, comparing, I was going to do that first, that kind of energy, me first, me first, me first, what would like to come out. Now you've also got here water, okay, so this person's very repressed in their, their fourth, their eighth and their twelfth house, okay, so that is ruled by Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. This is definitely to do with family, because your Cancer is about your foundations and your stability. This is to do with a matriarch, it could be mother, sister, auntie, okay. You also have um, Scorpio, which is to do with your intimacy, it's to do with mystery, but it's also how we release negative emotions. And then you have Pisces. Whatever this person has been doing since you or the person you're thinking of has walked away from them, has left them with karma on their door in the negative sense, because there's it's not that this door has closed and they've just gone, oh well, they've continued to do something, to send, to either cast, you know, um, dark spells, or just to continue continuously send evil eye, or try to tie a cord to this light one so that they are constantly being pulled back when they're trying to heal and go forward on their path because you've also got furred and feathered friends they may have tried to send something to your own animals because you've also got healing here upside down they may have tried to make your animals sick or there may have been some sort of involvement in when you were a child one of their animals getting sick because of something that they did okay so please take that as it resonates. You also have something here with an animal protector or guardian coming through, like a passed over one, letting you know that there was a blockage, a, purpose bl a pers purposeful blockage was put in, in you following your, your due north when you were a child because of this person over here, okay, and because they refused to heal. But also, this is also coming up again, that this person wants a second chance. But it's almost like a second chance to energy harvest because this person is like either an intentional or unintentional succubus or incubus. But I'm getting succubus more than anything else. Okay, because at the back you've got balanced forces. This person's very unhinged. Why are they unhinged? What is it that they're repressing? Because again, there's a lot of repressed emotions over here and uh, this uh, inability to take, um, to take responsibility for their actions. So we've got star seer and trust your innocence. So again, this is coming back to um, my light ones that have psychic gifts that are quite um, quite evolved. And as children may have, you know, connected with fate or elementals, may have seen ghosts or heard ghosts or had a lot of paranormal activity happen around them when they were children. Okay, but with this star seer and trust your innocence, there were energies that were connecting because they wanted to guide this light one. When they were little, they may have been able to see the path ahead and were trying to bring in that strength in how they communicated with them. Okay, but I heard it could have scared this light one. Do you want me to put these out? There was definitely someone's grandmother or someone has a guardian that is a passed over loved one, either they knew or didn't know, that actually stayed with them, especially when they were becoming empowered in walking away from this toxic energy. Because you've also got here guardian angel, angelic influence, magical oil, that's right next to it. So someone had their guardian angel that was with them all the time. There was something here about astrally projecting and look, round bridger, that used to stay with them when they astrally projected. An evolution, yeah. So this is, for some reason, I feel like this is coming up now because as, as we go through this full moon phase, and I know that some people will come and watch this later than it's actually um, actually been sent out or that it's been uploaded. So please take this for when the next full moon is for you. But this full moon is very much about releasing um, trauma, negativity, anything that binds us and holds us to timelines that no longer resonate for us. So this is definitely a call to look back at the timeline that may have been painful, that may have, you know, it was it was very brave of you 
of this light one to walk away from something that we get so used to. If you're used to living in dysfunction and chaos, it can become um, invisible. Like we don't even realize that it's there. So to actually see it, to go, this is not for me and to walk away is an extremely brave and strong thing to do. So I commend you, I completely commend you. Um, but we're being asked to go back to this, this, this timeline to bring in closure completely to any cords that may still be attached, to any hooks that may be attached, or to any timelines that need that closure so that we can move on and we can accelerate our healing and how we raise our vibrations. What would like to come out? This one? Which one? Do you not want to take this one? This one. Okay. Let me put this one down here. Let me see. So I've got out the Floral Soul Oracle deck just to see what would like to come out. Okay. Now we have here. I give myself time to sink into a soothing lavender bath and dab its essential oils on the back of my neck for a restful sleep. Okay. Someone here may be getting dream downloads because I keep hearing peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, especially with that optimism over here. There's something here about revisiting a timeline through either meditation or through dream downloads, okay? Because you've also got here, um, Cassia essential oil warms my soul, comforts me deeply and boosts my confidence when I am when I apply it to my hands and feet. So yeah, there's definitely someone here who, who is trying to connect or reach out okay but it's not because they've healed which is really sad for them it's more that they want to continue that karmic cycle that they've left themselves stuck in because they refuse to heal or they refuse to look at their actions and go i did this i created this this is the you know the universe that i'm in because i created it and there's something here about um your, your guardians or your ancestors or your guides saying have confidence when you go back into that but take it at your own Take it at your own pace, because the more we heal, I always say this, the more we heal, the more we protect ourselves and the more we strengthen ourselves, not only emotionally and physically, but on the etheric realms as well, because whoever this person is, when you close that door, they left the door open and they've constantly been projecting energy because I heard hate, actual hate. And it says, I sip rose infused tea to strengthen my manifestation, setting my intentions whilst the roses brew. So someone here has been manifest manifesting because it came out sideways. They've been manifesting an intent coming sideways for this light one. Okay. Anything else that would like to come out? Anything else? Any other messages, please? And thank you. Can I get one, please? What do I need to see? Okay. Oh, I've got quite a few. And it's, this is upside down and it says, I plant lilies in my garden and decorate my home with them to help me feel safe and contact my spirit guides, angels and other deities. With it being upside down, this person has been trying to not only block this light one from their own deities or their own intuition or their own, their, kind of like your joy, the way that you, you light yourself up every day and find small things to find pleasure in, whether that is watching birds in formation outside in the sky, or that, you know, that, you know, stopping to speak to that old lady that you always see on the corner. They're trying to take that away, but there's something here also about trying to contact your ancestors, because if this is a family member, they actually share ancestors with you or this light one, and then being turned down because of what they did, because for some reason I heard death spell, because lilies are, you know, when you think of lilies, this, this is something that was handed to someone when someone died, okay, if you're handing lilies to someone who's alive, you're more or less saying I'm putting a death threat out on you, so with these lilies here and with it being reversed, this is a death spell that was reversed, they may have prayed or called to their ancestors that are connected to you, and their ancestors Re revoked them rebuked them and said get lost okay how very interesting because they're being called up about what they did to this light one when they were a child okay and the thing is as well is that if this person has split personality disorder or they have some sort of mental health issue i do not hold any malice and remember i am not a trained professional or mental health um, therapist in any way shape or form so please make sure that you reach out to someone in that sector if you feel you need that support or you need that guidance or advice before taking mine however if someone if you grow up with someone let's say for example that is your mother your father your sister your brother that has a mental health um, 
issue that has not been supported that not only takes strain on the person who's suffering with that but also the people around, okay? And that's not me condoning the fact that if you grew up in a household where you had a caregiver or a sibling that had a mental health um, issue that wasn't supported, that is okay that they treated you the way that they did. I just feel sad for them that they never got that support and that if that is the person that's reaching out now, that they're still not getting the support that they dearly need. Okay, because it says, look, like my ch my shadow parts, the leaves of a plant are not to be overlooked for the bright blossomy flowers. Someone needs to do their shadow work. Okay, someone here, and that is in no judgment whatsoever, but that is for both my light ones and those who are still trying to connect a light one into a cycle, a karmic cycle that no longer resonates for them. This person has a lot of repressed emotions, okay? And there seems to be this blame game of pointing it at someone else rather than at themselves. Because you've also got, I decorate my home with yellow roses to encourage wisdom and joy to circulate and inspire all those who enter, okay? So there may have been some sort of competition or it's not fair, look at that blocking opposing because those two messages one is about doing the shadow work and one is about finding you know joy in small things and there's a very opposing polarized kind of energy coming through where <clears throat> one person here did the shadow work healed or is still healing you know but is validating themselves and honoring that pain by you know recognizing it and the other one is not and doesn't want to and there seems to be this energy of it's not fair, it's not fair, rather than it being that it's as fair as you allow it to be, you know. Because you've also got here, I dab a single drop of amaryllis essence onto my neck to encourage my confidence and to be sociable in public spaces. So this person may have, um, this may be you, this may be the other person, may have social anxiety, so they don't actually know how to step forward, even though when they do step forward, they're stepping forward with confrontation. Okay, by spritzing the scent of geranium around my front door, I encourage happiness, good health, good wishes and friendship to all those who enter. There's something here about not being able to stand the fact that even though, you know, life has thrown you towers or they threw towers towards you, you were still able to see the bright side, you know, to see that cup as full to heal, to, you know, internalize whatever's going on with pain and to, you know, ultimately heal from it. And I heard I hate you for it because Cass Cassa, Cassia essential oil comes out again, warms my soul, comforts me deeply and boosts my confidence when I apply it to my hands and feet. Okay. There's something here about um, your confidence also, the way that you um, connect with the world, the way that you connect with your divine gifts. <clears throat> and again, I sip rose infused tea to strengthen my manifestations, setting my intentions whilst the roses brew. Okay, and this is reminding me of a different deck that I have and in which it says that ever unfolding ro rose is happening for you, not to you. Okay, and with this unhealed here, this person is watching you or the light one you're thinking of manifesting everything that you want. Okay. They're, they're watching you manifest abundance, whether that's money, prosperity, um, friendship, love, and they don't understand how you've been able to do it. Because I heard I cast you out, or I banished you. I cast you out, or I banished you. This one, this one, this one. This one over here. How interesting. I don't use this deck as much, but let's see what wants to come out. Yeah, look, magical blessings. There's someone who has been sit sitting down with their nine of pentacles in reverse attitude trying to um reverse and i keep saying this i keep feeling this energy of someone this is a family member somebody who feels like they were given the cold shoulder that they can't feed from your energy anymore so they have been sitting and biding their time and there's something here about role reversal trying to change what it is that you say when you pray when you manifest when you you know if you walk the path of the witch of the light witch or the green witch how you manifest the words that you use and then try to flip them so that whatever you say, you get the opposite. That's what I'm getting from this energy because magical blessings upside down says whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. So this is a hex. 
This is someone trying to hex your words or hex your heart, okay? Because you've got stargazing as well. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Someone's done some sort of either illusion spell or some sort of hex on your heart and your words. This is to kind of make you doubt your own intuition. Ooh, and that went straight on my cup of tea. And it says journey and protection, okay? It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be imp impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you are ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. I love this. This is something else I think they're quite vexed about. They're vexed that, you know, this light one is just getting on with their life. They've closed that door. They are not interested in, you know, placing energy into a timeline that was very, very painful. And I don't say that in the way of not going back there to do shadow work, but they don't wish to sit in it and let it fester, if that makes sense. And you've also got protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking on any spiritual work. This can also be saying um, if you are someone who's an avid astrala, um, astrala, astral prote um, um, projector, somebody who um, is a dream walker, somebody who has very vivid downloads when they're dreaming or in waking dream as well, to ensure that you are invoking your free will and giving full permission to whoever it is that protects you on the highest resonance and the highest realms to do so because this person is definitely projecting a lot of repressed energy and with this being upside down and being blue this is very much them speaking ill intent into you connecting with your spirit guides or connecting with oh my phone's gone or can yeah that's the thing as well they're trying to block your communication how interesting anything else that would like to come out and we've got here transformation they're trying to block this transformation okay but you definitely have animals on the spirit realm that wish to help you with this also anything else that would like to come out magical gateway Okay, so this is part of their plan. There's something here about opening up some sort of um, low level or stagnant portal or gateway that they've been blocked from, okay? And it says here, it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. They're trying to place some sort of doubt. Ah, look at this, and it's right next to that sipping tea. Who is it that they're spilling the tea or gossiping with? Because there's something going on here about, I heard a planned attack. Oh, jeez. A planned attack. Why did I hear a planned attack? Please and thank you. Why did I hear a planned attack? Transformation, again. Okay, there's a planned attack to thwart, stop or delay a light one's um, transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to the transformation in your life that's happening for you for the highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. This person can't do this, so this is what they're trying to project over to a light one, okay? So I heard heal that trauma, and that's going to be either for you, another person, it could be the person who's projecting this, it could be your divine counterpart, because I heard from healing comes rebirth, okay? And this one says, new beginnings. They're trying to block an opportunity coming through. They're trying to cage this light one once again, okay? And you've also got believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that is all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature. You are, are magical too. There's something here about grounding and connecting with the crystalline grid of the earth. If that resonates for you, please have a look into grounding exercises. There's a lot of guided meditations on YouTube that are perfect for that. You can also look into seed sounds, okay, because there are different sounds that connect a there's a frequency that connects to each one of them and I can't remember all of them but I know that LAM, L-A-M, is for your root chakra and I think this is very, very important. Hidden depths, okay, let your light shine. Solar, ooh, okay, this person may be doing private reads on you or the person you're thinking of because what's also come up is um, soul love, okay? So this is about how you connect to the cosmos, to the oneness of all, but also your divine counterpart. Okay, and let your light shine. There's something here about trying to block that beacon because you also have your solar plexus coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. 
the way that you connect to your solar plexus and heal any um, past timelines that um, connect to your wounded inner child. It's going to open the doors up for you to connect with your divine counterpart, whether that's on the etheric realm or on this realm, okay? And you have a sibling or you have a family member or a parent that does not want that happening, okay? Because you've also got authentic truth coming through. And then let's put these down here. That transformation, look at all of that yellow. This is all to do with your solar plexus. And you've got divine animals and authentic truth. There is something here about trying to send some sort of demonic or low-level energy or a fake guardian towards you because you have got there Sekhmet or you have a lioness or a lion here, all right? Now, there's, oh, look at that. You have been protected from them trying to bring in either, if, if you work with deities, for example, you work with gods or goddesses, with the god or goddess, um, depending on if you're Wiccan. If you work with animal totems, there was something here about trying to cast in something that was fake, okay, to give you fake guidance, but you were protected from that straight away because you've got hidden depths and believe in magic, all right? This was, your heart chakra is very, very protected. It's very, very large is what I heard. It's very large. Anything else that would like to come through? And that also is telling me that somebody, if they've sent something, if this person has sent something to try and hurt your animals, whether you have pets, for someone they have horses or they have stables and someone else says something about working on a farm, your animals are protected. Your animals are protected. Anything else that would like to come out before I go, please and thank you. Change the deck. Okay, let me change the deck really quickly. What would you like me to take out, please and thank you, this one? Okay, I'll take this one. Look, it says break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. This person is stuck in a past timeline that they don't wish to come out of. And this is why they're projecting all of this over. However, if you look back at my community post a couple of days ago, it was talking about that we are the ancestors that are going to break these ancestral chains. And there's something here with fear, but this person leads with fear, okay? There was jealousy from childhood that you were a star seer, but there's more to it. Because look, dance within, do something to change your energy and it's upside down. Someone might need to do some sort of um, cleansing to their solar plexus. I heard tie the knot, okay? Now, <clears throat> in ancient Egypt, this is something that women did. They still do it to, to um, modern times now, is the knot ritual, okay? The knot ritual is where you take a piece of string or a piece of twine and you you tie a knot for the last time you felt disempowered or the last time that you feel, felt angry or you felt like you, you know, like your voice wasn't heard and you speak that into existence, okay? You, and you can actually visualize like the person who made you feel disempowered is in front of you. What would you like to say to them? What would you like them to say back to you? OK, once you have done so, you then go back to the time before that, that you felt exactly the same and you bring that back to reality and you speak through it. You honor those emotions that come through you. OK, and you go back through time to the last time before that, the time before that, the time before that. till you get yourself back to childhood, to the first time you ever felt like that okay in between you can tie some knots for you know blessings and gratitude of things that you learnt and you know how it made you grow but when you get all the way back down to childhood you burn the entire string now you can do that in a couple of hours if you want or you can do that over a couple of months whatever actually resonates with you but doing this it will show you a timeline and a pattern of behavior okay steeping all the way back to when we were children burning that you can burn that up to god to allah to divine source to yourself if you want to it is the most refreshing release of you know stagnant energy repressed energy whatever you would like to call it because it also names where that came from the biases that was placed in us and how it grew without us knowing but some, for some reason I heard that someone needs to do that because you've also got dance with energy, do something to change your energy. That will change your energy big time, okay? But there's something here about this sibling, this cousin, this parent, you know, this, this grandmother, whoever it is, 
wanting to hold you into this cycle so that you don't release that, so that you don't continue to glow and light up every room that you go into, okay? So that you don't mean, meet your divine counterpart, because I keep hearing sick like me. Leap, and it's upside down. This person does not want you to take that leap of faith, because you've also got high priestess, okay? How are you being called to step up and lead? And then leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. This person had many opportunities to leap, to heal, to grow, and they refused to. And now they're holding on to the hopes that you won't learn what your, your new blueprints are, okay? When I say blueprints, I'm talking about your life purpose, because some of us have more than one, and they're trying to hold on to the fact that if they can keep this timeline going, this old timeline, this dysfunctional timeline, that you will not actually connect with your divine counterpart, okay? They're leading from fear rather than from empowerment. Anything else? Yeah. And it says the age of the light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. This is telling me also that this is a karmic, <clears throat> this is a past life karmic as well, okay? Not all of us are actually born into our soul families. Some of us are born into karmic families. And my understanding of this is that we choose, more nine times out of 10, we choose which family we wish to go into. And we are kind of shown, well, this is what, you know, these are the towers that you're going to be placed into if you're here. But if you go through those towers and you go through that dark night of the soul, this is what's going to be activated. And this is how you're going to be able to shine brighter. And these are all the other souls that you're going to touch with that light. And then you'll have a tower over here and a tower over here. However, you go through them, look how much you're going to shine. Look how much you're going to help other people. Look at how much of the globe that you light up by going through that. Okay. And this person over here, unfortunately, is not one of your soul tribe. They're not your soul family, okay? But they didn't take the time to learn what their purpose was, okay? And rather than leading from empowerment, they led from fear. So they still haven't learned who they are, you know, what their I am presence is and what their soul purpose is. Because you've got Council of Light, Divine Orchestrations helping in the subtle realm. They've kind of, they've cut themselves out of that opportunity of being able to find that out. Okay, where are you being called to journey to? There you go. This is about your life purpose. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope this gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe, and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content. If you are um, looking for any type of reading, all of my personal information is down below so you can get a reading there. And thank you for those who are returning um, to returning subscribers. I, I really appreciate you. Thank you for all of your comments. Thank you for your emails. Um, thank you for your questions as well. Um, my door is always open to those who just need a little bit of advice or have questions. Um, it does take me sometimes a little bit of time to get back to you guys. It can take 48 to 72 hours, but I will always respond as quickly as I can. Um, and with that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome day, an awesome afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are in the world. I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye. Boop.